Happy New Year and happy 2023 guys. If you're new here, my name is Jamie McCracken and welcome back to the channel. And it is January 1st, 2023. I am hiking on New Year's Day, partly because, well, it's 70 degrees here in Tennessee. I am in Columbia, Tennessee today and we're kicking off the adventure season with a pretty easy hike, just a two mile hike down here in Columbia. Uh, it is called the Cheeks Bend Bluff Trail, and it's right along the Duck River. Uh, it's, this is a very preserved area by the state, which makes it a really nice area. I was actually really surprised, though, driving up in here. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough road, but then when I got to the parking lot, there was like 15 to 20 cars. So didn't think that there would be that many people here today. However, it is a holiday, and there are people that have the day off, right? So nonetheless, I am really fired up. We have so many things that we're going to get to in 2023, and this just starts off the adventure season. So I hope you guys will enjoy this, enjoy this hike with me, and let's do it. This trail is pretty muddy. We've gotten a lot of rain in the area here in South Central Tennessee. So got a lot of mud uh, that I'm kind of trekking through today. You can look at my, look at my boots. So regardless of tread, you're having to step through a lot of this slop, but we've been working our way down, down, down. This is, there's been no, no elevation gain, just kind of going downhill and uh, for the most part, pretty easy as expected, but muddy and slippery, especially when you're on these uh, rocks and boulders. So just trying to be careful, but it's still such a beautiful day to start out the new year. This is not part of the trail, but check out the little gully I came by. Really cool, huge rock formation. Almost looks like a waterfall could be flowing down in there. But the blue blaze is right here. We need to keep going this way to stay on the trail. All right guys, so just off trail here, there's a little trail that somebody or enough people have created. If you come down here, you're gonna be able to see the Duck River for the first time down in there. So really cool view uh, that we've got just a little bit off trail. It looks like the river is really flowing down there too. But I think we're gonna get better views if we stay on trail. So just wanted to show you though, that is the Duck River uh, going by right here. this look at this guys wow there's the duck river right down there how about this for a view beautiful
what's been really pretty about this trail is that the the green moss uh, just hanging on to the rock here in the in the front end of winter at least it's just been really really beautiful to look at to climb some of these rocks and you can tell a little bit more out of breath we're climbing a little bit more uh, after going down 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 and now we're making the loop uh, back around so we're actually going away from the river now and we're kind of in the the woods back here and not very exposed kind of feel like a, a deer hunter right now but about halfway through the hike So yeah, you'll see a lot of these blue blazes, and so if you get lost, it's pretty easy. They got these marked about every, I don't know, 50 yards. But check this out. We have made it back around where it lollipops. So basically, I went, I went up this way, and then, you know, went back in there through the woods and kind of lollipoped around here. So can't really get lost, but we're back around here at the Duck River, and it's just gorgeous, man. I mean unbelievable day here to start 2023 and while this is a very uh low-key adventure i've had such a good time i mean just beautiful i mean 70 to 72 degrees no humidity and while the trees have no leaves on them we still see a good bit of greenery and <laughs> it's just gorgeous I am headed back to the car and I just wanted to come on here to kind of tell you what is in store now for 2023. So first of all, our first big trip of the year, Lala and my fiance and I, we are headed to uh, Tucson, Arizona. So we plan to do Saguaro National Park and a couple of other things out there. We're gonna spend four or five days out on the, uh, the Western desert in April. Should be a beautiful time. I know that the temperature gets uh, anywhere from 75 to 85. So just a perfect time to hike in the desert in April. And then we have a trip also planned for Yosemite National Park in May. It'll be uh, Lala's first time in Yosemite. It'll be my second time. We're going to do a couple new things that you didn't see back in the October uh, 2020 uh, video that I did. I'm so pumped. Yosemite, if you've never been there or if you have been there, you do know it is immaculate. Definitely the best national park I've been to. So really excited for that. So be on the lookout for those two things for April and May. Uh, we also have uh, what hopefully will be our biggest accomplishment of the year as we plan to summit Mount Whitney this year. So I'm really pumped about that. That should be in July, depending on whether or not we get the passes. And also uh, going back to Yosemite, we really wanna do uh, the, the Half Dome hike. So we're also hoping to get a permit for Half Dome. They allow 200 people uh, per day or per week to get up on the, the cables. And it should be like the first or second week that uh, the cables will be up for when we are going in May. So really hopeful we get the permits, really hope that the cables are up, but really excited. Those are the three big trips. So we got Tucson, Arizona, we got Yosemite, California, uh, Yosemite National Park in California, and then hopefully Mount Whitney. We're hoping also to get out back out to the Big Pine Lakes because if you remember, I was deathly ill the last time we went out there and we only made it to the first two lakes. There are seven lakes and it's like a 15 mile hike. So we're hoping to also do that, maybe even as a training ground uh, to get up to Mount Whitney as well because that's out on Lone Pine, uh, right where Mount Whitney is. So those are the three or four big things we're looking at. Uh, two of them are planned, the other two, up in the air, but uh, really hope, hoping that we get to them because Mount Whitney is our number one goal this year. So all that being said, I'm hiking back to the car. I'm almost there actually after all that talking, but just wanted to kind of give you guys an update of, of what the plan is for uh, th this year and the adventure season for Lala and I'm really excited. A lot less cars here than when I came today, so. Uh, just four or five of us left here. I made it back to the car, it's right behind me. I just kind of 
started walking down this road a little bit, but <laughs> I think you can actually get to the Duck River down there. So I kind of wanted to go look at that before I, I leave here during sunset. It's really beautiful out, but I hope you guys enjoyed the hike today. Uh, the hike was pretty easy, just 2.1 miles. I did it under an hour. It took me uh, 58 minutes and 53 seconds. It was just over 200 feet of elevation gain. So super, super simple, uh, but a lot of fun. Good to kick off the 2023 adventure season here on the YouTube channel with a 68 to 73 degree, degree weather day. I'm thinking about hiking tomorrow too because I have the day off and it's going to be another beautiful day. So we'll see what we get into, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the footage turned out really well. If you're seeing this, it did uh, because this is a brand new camera, the DJI uh, Osmo Action 3. I do have to get a, a specific SD card for this because apparently the SD card I'm using right now doesn't give it the, the best quality. But um, if you're seeing this, it's good enough quality for now. And I really looking forward to using this new camera and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful 2023. We'll see you soon here on the YouTube channel. See ya. Peace.